Welcome back. Here we are for another week of STEAM. I'm so excited to be with you again today. We're going to focus on the first four letters in STEAM, starting with the S. S stands for science or scientist. Today we're going to get a chance to use our sense of hearing to listen to some mystery sounds. So let's get started. What sound do you hear? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to predict what the sound was. I have a sentence stem here to help us. I predict the sound is. So let's play that sound one more time. Okay, now tell me what you think the sound is. Wow, yes, you're right. The sound was a drum. Now we're going to go on to our second sound scientist and see if you can predict what that is. So here we go. Let, whoops, let's go back. Let's make our prediction. I predict the sound is I didn't think you would know that one. You're right. Yes, the sound was a maraca. Here's the maraca I was shaking. Miss Holmes was kind enough to share with me. Maybe you'll get to try some sounds with Miss Holmes too. All right, let's go on to our next one. What sound do you hear? What are you predicting? I predict the sound is a... Wow, that was a tricky one. The sound was a xylophone. How many of you got that right? And here's our last sound. What sound do you hear? Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Let's just keep going. We learn from those mistakes, right? Wow, so many of you knew that sound. Yes, the sound was rhythm sticks. And I used some sticks from our Not A Stick um, book the other week. So I'm so excited that you remember that sound. So now we're going to talk about how are we going to learn how to be engineers and bring in some art to our STEAM class this week? So we have a question that will help us with that. What instrument can you make out of materials you have at home? So we just saw four instruments. We saw a drum, And we heard and saw the xylophone. And we heard the maraca. And we heard the sticks from nature being used as rhythm sticks. So now let's think, what could you make at home as an instrument to play for Miss McCormick? Hmm. Here are some pictures on the slide and some materials that we could use. So I'm going to show you some of the materials I found at my house in my recycle bin. I found some toilet paper and paper towel rolls and I was thinking that maybe those could be used for rhythm sticks and we could decorate them and play some music with them. Hmm, what else could you make? What could you make what could you use to make a drum? Hmm. Well, in my house, I have a plastic, um, it's a, a margarine container, and I also have this box. I wonder if either of those would use, be able to use to make a drum. Hmm. I think they could. They might even be able to be turned into a maraca too. I put some little stick pieces in here, and let's listen to how that sounds. 
okay, those are all the hints I'm going to give you. So I want you to look around your house for some things that are in your recycle bin or extra scraps of paper you might have and crayons. And how can you make an instrument out of materials you have at home? I can't wait to see your recordings this week. See you next time. Thanks for being a scientist and an engineer with me today. And don't forget to bring in the artist when you decorate what your instrument, the instrument you make. Bye for now.